guys welcome back to all illuminator 11 so i've been getting the strong guidance to do a video about this to pose this question to you and this is a question for you to ask yourself come back into yourself you know within and ask those questions you know for yourself when it comes to your own journey and i woke up in the early hours of this morning so this guidance has been coming in since the early hours of this morning you know i went to work yesterday because we had this meeting that i had to attend and and i was in the office all day and when i came back i felt drained like my energy had been drained out of me and you know and it just really reminded me about what we're talking about in the series create magic in your life about protecting your energy and i'm so grateful that i work from home you know and i don't go in every day it's like once in a while i don't go in every day to you know come back feeling the way that i was feeling so you know it is about always looking after your energy and as i said i am very grateful that you know i work from home and i don't feel like that all the time but anyway when i did um come back i felt so tired i had to go to bed really early so i was in bed really early and then i woke up and it was just after one in the morning and this question sort of just came into my awareness it just like flooded my awareness and then messages in relation to that started coming through and i sort of reached out to my side table for my pen and i didn't have i had moved it somewhere so I actually took my phone and I typed everything, you know, the messages that were coming through in my phone. So I'll be referring to that because, you know, there were powerful messages that were coming through. And the question is, could your need for union be blocking your physical union? So that's a question for you to ask yourself. And, um, and you know, I've really... Since the start of this year, I did a video when I was walking outside as well, just at the start of 2024, you know, the messages I've been really getting about connecting with my feminine energy, going deeper within myself, working on the things that I am here to create, you know, when it comes to manifesting my desires in this 2024, which is why we're also doing the series, Create Magic in Your Life, because, you know, those that guidance that I'm getting is for me to share with everyone as well, which is why I am doing this video. It was very clear that this is guidance for everyone. And I have just finished a challenge um, for a five day challenge that I just did. And it was all about, you know, manifesting for 2024, the life that you are desiring for 2024. And it's not something that I've been guided to do before. So, you know, I know that the messages are coming through for a reason. We are all at this stage on our journey whereby we've worked through certain things and now, you know, to be able to attract and bring in the things that you desire, you have to get it to a certain place within yourself where you are, you know, more in that place to be able to attract those things. So I feel this is why this message is coming through. So could your need for union be blocking your physical union? And in this challenge, you know, and this is something that we already know, you know, that if you are desiring, let's say, talk about money, for example, if you're desiring to have more money in your bank account, you don't focus on the fact that you don't have the money. You know, you focus on the fact that you already have this money. It is already yours. You get into that excitement. You see that money in your bank account. You imagine it. You live it. You are actually in this place where you become what you wish to see in your physical world. You know, it's like you become it now and you're not waiting for it to happen. You're actually living your life as it is happening right now. <clears throat> and, you know, it's about releasing the fear. If there are any fears, but that, but it's not actually here, you have to let go of those fears and you have to actually live your life now that it is already here. And that is the same thing when it comes to your union. That's the message that was really coming through strongly from the angels yesterday. So ask yourself, could your need for union be blocking your physical union? Because when you are in that energy of, I need this union, I need my divine masculine, I want them to be with me right now. You know, I want that, you know, physical union. You are wanting, you are needing it. You know, you are in this energy that there is something that is lacking. 
that union is lacking in your life and you are not living it. You're not becoming it now. And as we know, your twin flame journey is a journey of the self. It is a journey that is helping you to get into that place of inner union, you know, and the, when what is going on within you is what is reflected in your outside world. You know, you become it. You are, you become that union and you do that by doing the work, you know, doing your healing, doing releasing what needs to be released, working on finding balance and alignment within balancing your masculine and feminine energy. You do all those, those things and, you know, and you get to that place of that inner union of, of having peace in, in within and, you know, loving life, being in your joy. It's like all that happens within you. So you are already in that energy of that union and you know in yourself as well that you and your divine masculine, there is no separation. You are already in union. You know, you've already always been in union, but because we're so focused so much on, you know, that separation consciousness and we've been like that for so long. You know, we we get into that place of, you know, looking only at the physical and we see that physical separation and we focus on that. You know, the more you focus on the physical separation, the more you create more of that. You know, it's about remembering the power that you have when it comes to you on this journey. So it's about the message that was coming through is, you know, you have to know that union is already here that you already have that union with your divine masculine and you have to become that you have to live that feel it know it and be that and it's not just about so i'm talking about two things actually i'm talking about you getting into that place of inner union and then you also needing that union with your divine masculine you know so getting into that place of inner union is about you just feel living that you are, you know, in, in, in a, at a part in on your own journey, at a stage on your journey where you are in that place of of that inner union of finding that peace or feeling good in yourself and living your life, you know, living your life in joy and, you know, doing the things that you're doing, you know, you're whole and complete and, you know, you don't need anything outside of you to fill you up because you are already complete you know and you are living your life in that energy you know sometimes we can be like oh i'm in in a union but it's not really about your words about it it's about the energy that you're giving out you know it's what's truly going on within you it could be maybe things you know you may feel that you are there but then you still have certain things that are deeper that you may not have dealt with or things that are to do with your subconscious. Maybe you don't feel that you are worthy of this love. Uh, deep down, there's still things that you still need to work through that are much deeper within yourself. So, you know, it's about that inner union is about the energy that truly comes out from you because your journey with your divine masculine is all about energy. And you can feel that, okay, I, you know, or say that I'm in, in a union, but if your energy is not quite there, then, you know, that's, that is what is reflected in your outside world because you are not quite there yet within yourself. That's the energy that you are bringing out. There's still certain things that you may still need to work on within yourself to truly get into that place where you are bringing out that energy of truly being in that inner union yourself. So that was about just diving deeper into yourself, you know, seeing if there are certain things that you may still need to work through for yourself. You know, this is just a question for everyone. Everyone's on different parts of their journey. For some, you may feel like this message doesn't relate to me at all. I'm, I'm good, uh, you know, and that's great, you know, but it is just a message to help everyone as well on this journey. And then when it comes to needing your divine masculine or needing that union, you know, your union is already here. So you are not, you get out of that need of, you know, having that union with your divine masculine where you actually are just living your life. You don't actually need your divine masculine. 
you know, you get to a place within yourself where, you know, you are feeling that life is full and you are joyful and you're living your life. You actually get out because we go on stages on this journey, you know, and I know where I had that need of my divine masculine and, you know, wanting them to be there. And but you go past those stages where you actually get to a place of becoming, you know, that this is the life that you are living. You are already together. You are one and, you know, they are already here and that stage when you are in that you're you're not really so focused on needing that union to come in it doesn't mean okay don't get me wrong here it doesn't mean you don't have a desire for that or a vision for that life together it doesn't mean you you release your love for your divine masculine you can't do that you have that love for them but there's a difference between love and need you know, when you are needing them to come into your life so that you can have that life with your divine masculine, that's different from just loving them. You know, when you are just loving them, you have that love for them. And, you know, but you're not needing that union. You're not needing them to be in your life. You know, you are okay even if they're not in your life. That's the message that's coming through. You are okay even if they're not in your life in the physical because they are, as your twin, they are always with you. So you are okay in your own life and you're living your life. You don't need them, but you have that love for them. And, and you're filling up your own cup with your own love for yourself, you know, and, and giving everything to yourself, knowing you're worthy of this love. It's all what's going on within you. The more you get into that place, you know, where you're filling up your own cup, you have that love for self, you know you're worthy of this beautiful love. And, you know, all that is coming through from your energy. What is going on within you is what is reflected in your outside world. When you are in that place of that inner union, you know, that's coming through from your energy, then you will see that being reflected as well in your outside world. You know, that's when you get to that physical union. So that was the message that was coming through. But when you are in a need for that union, you know, you are wanting that union so much. It's like all oh, you are needing that physical, you are wanting that physical union. It's like you are saying that there's something that is missing in your life. You know, you are giving out that energy that something is missing and you need it from outside of yourself. And the message was, you know, it's all bringing back to you back to yourself. This journey is bringing you back to yourself and your twin by not bringing in that, uh, that union in the physical is reflecting what is going on with you with that need and that want of that union you're showing that there's something that is already missing so you can get to a place where you have the love that unconditional love you're open to this love you're open to it coming in you know at the perfect time and you are manifesting it from a place of knowing that it is already yours you know you become it you live it and and then it, it comes in. But when you are in that need, then you there is something that you are showing from your energy that something is missing. Something is not there. There is a lack of that thing. And you're wanting it to come in so that you can have it. And that was the message. I hope this is making sense. It was making sense to me. You know, you have to get out of the energy of that need for that union. And, you know, and this is not something that you force. This is something that comes, you know, as you are moving forward and growing on your journey. You know, this is the thing about this journey. You can, you can't force it because it's the energy that is coming through. And, you know, you have to become it yourself. You have to live it. You have to feel it. You have to be it. You know, be that union. Feel that you are already in union come out of the energy of I need that union to happen in my life. I need my divine masculine to come into my life because you are giving out the energy that they, there is something lacking in you because it is all 
what is happening is reflecting what's going on within you so when you are in that energy of you have that union you know you are not needing your divine masculine you love them but you're not needing them to come into your life you you know because or wanting them to come into your life you desire that love with them you desire that life with them but you, that the energy of need and want is showing that something is missing and you have to release that need, you know, and know that it's already here and live it and be it and feel it within yourself and give out that energy that, you know, it's, you are already living it. And what is going on with you is what is then reflected in your physical world. So what you are is as what, what you are as in what you've become is what is reflected in your outside world so it's about working on what you what you are what's going on within you you know that place of inner union that place of truly feeling it within yourself that place of knowing you and your divine masculine are already in union and coming in your energy from that place of being in that union you know, and truly feeling that within yourself. And, you know, and as long as you haven't become it and you are still needing for it to happen, it's like you are energetically saying something is missing. So if you haven't become it in yourself and you're still needing it to happen from outside or you're still needing them to come into your life, then you are in this place where you're showing in your energy that something is missing. But when you become it, you get to a point of not actually needing your twin. When you become it, you get to a point in yourself where no, of not actually needing your twin. You are just in this place. You've become that union yourself because that is what is going on within you. You don't actually need them. You live your life. And that's the time that they will surprise you and come into your life because you're no longer, you are full, of, you know, with that inner union, you are filled up in yourself, in the love that you give to yourself, in everything that is going on with you. So the, the you are in, you've become it. That's the message coming through. You've become it. And because you, that's what's coming through from your energy, then, you know, you attract what you already are. You know, you are the one who's attracting this love. And I know there's some people who said, you know, I don't want to be with my divine masculine because they did all this and want somebody else. But also, even if you are wanting someone else, you have to heal the pain that happened with your divine masculine. You have to release that because if you're still holding on to that pain, it's what is still going on within you. So you have to work through that and release that because you're the one who attracts what's happening with you. What is going on within you is what is reflected in your outside world. It is what you attract. So you may attract someone with pain as well to reflect to you. You know, when you are together, what you need, to, you still need to heal if you haven't worked through that pain, you know, or you, you may be in a place whereby you have to work through that first to then be able to attract that person that you are desiring. If you are in not desiring to be with your divine masculine, because I've had comments about that before from other people, but you have to work on you first because what is going on within you is what you attract. You know, you have to be what you are desiring to have in your life. So, you know, that was the big message that was coming through. You're already in union and, you know, you're already living that union and you totally feel it in yourself. You know, you are, you, you become it in yourself, you know, and your energy is, is bringing that out. So you're not needing your twin. You're not needing them to come into your life. You're not needing that union because it's already here. And it's a stage that you get to within yourself. And as you do that and you, you know, what you've become and is, is what you see in, in, in your world because you've become that. So that was the message that was coming through. And then the last part that I have here is, you know, what is going on in you is what is reflected in your outside world. And then they come because you are already in this place of no longer needing, which is an energy of lack 
of no longer that you know wanting as well it's like the energy i really want this it's like something that thing is missing already but the word well, the more you filled yourself up in all sorts of ways and know you're completed you know you don't need anything else outside of you you don't want anything else outside of you but you attract what is already going on within you and that is what is then brought in Oh, that's your divine masculine who then comes in and surprises you because that's where you are in yourself. So, you know, could your need for union be what is blocking your, your physical union? That's something for you to ask yourself, you know, to really sort of see for yourself where you may still be in that energy of need or, you know, or you're not in that energy of just knowing that, you know, it's okay. I, I, it will come in when it's meant to, you know, I am in that energy. I am living. This union is already here. And, you know, and then you see that come into your life. So that was the message that was coming through and do leave some comments if you have any, but I just really was getting the message to share that. So could your need for union be blocking your physical union. I hope you have a great day, guys. Sending you all so much love.